Hi guys, uh, I'm Nathan Hass. Uh, I'm a professional cyclist riding for Team Garmin Sharp in 2013. Uh, I've been riding in the uh, the Corporate Cycle Challenge for uh, for two years now, and uh, I hope you guys are all excited for uh, this year's edition as much as I am. Uh, so. Uh, for myself, it's actually going to be the first time competing in the Sydney round, uh, which I'm quite excited about. I used to live in Sydney myself, so that should be pretty cool to be back on my home turf. And uh, one that I'm particularly excited about this year is the Arthur's Seat uh, Hill Time Trial. Uh, as, as some of you may know, Arthur's Seat is one of the places which uh, my career really kicked off, where I, uh, I managed to take the yellow jersey for the Herald Sun Tour in 2011 there. So it's, uh, it's going to be quite special to go back there. Uh, and also heading back to Perth, which uh, you know I always enjoy being on that side of Australia. So it's going to be quite exciting. So uh, for me, racing uh, in, in the professional ranks, one of the things that I found particularly exciting is actually doing the team time trialing discipline. And uh, our team Garmin Sharp has always had quite a bit of success in that. So uh, you know, over, over my two years so far being professional, I've I've managed to learn quite a lot from some pretty experienced guys. So today I'm actually here to give you all a couple of tips about how to actually uh, approach these next few events um, upcoming later this year. So uh, I guess uh, my biggest tip is, is first of all, it's, it's not actually about going fast in a team time trial. It's actually always just about never going slow. So you're always really working off the slowest person in your team. Uh, but my, my first tip is, uh, is that everyone should maybe spend some time, uh, you know, trying to learn how to move through so, like quite smoothly off each other. And uh, you know, you're always trying to think about the guy behind you coming through. So you're never trying to make it too hard for that person to actually come over you because that's where the speed comes from. And uh, the second uh, lesson that I had to, to learn quite quickly when we're racing is that your turn's actually not over on the front until you've actually drifted back and re-entered into the peloton because the, uh, the wind and the effort that it takes to actually get back onto the moving train can be almost harder than what you've done on the front, so be aware for that. And uh, also, the third 